five exit day. It rained all night. Things are going to be wet, but at least it stopped now. Curious to see what kind of mess it is. no way to avoid it. Willows like this uh, get you wet. Shouldn't be getting soaking wet, getting water in the morning. That's crap. Look at my pants. Water for tea and coffee and oatmeal. Oh, this is Wow, even though it rained all night, still warm. I'm not being fancy or anything this morning.
All right. It's so miserable that I didn't feel like taking out the camera, but I can't uh, deny everybody these views no matter what. So here's the view. We're on our way over Nigel Pass. So Randy saw his first snow in August. No, he didn't. He's seen it before. But look at, we're, we're being robbed of a bit of scenery here because it should be prettier, but that's an interesting pass through the boulders there. We're not going to get too far ahead of these folks because they're going to give us a ride. <laughs> he volunteered. He said so. <laughs> Sorry if the lens is foggy, but it's a little, it's a little foggy, rainy today. Me personally, I hate hiking in rain gear. I get so wet underneath regardless. Look at this scenery, eh? People call this Nigel Pass, but it's not. Nigel Pass is on the other side of the creek. I don't know what this is called. Oh, it's not a pass. <laughs> All right, we're back at this Cataract Pass Junction. Me and Maddie were here two weeks ago. This is where we parted ways with Sage last time. Right here. Heck if I know. No. Oh, look, fresh snow up there. Fresh snow all over the mountain. This is the old trail. And. Oh gosh. It's shaping. It started. What? Anybody that's watching the Alice will know that's true. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Marty, that one was not for you, that was for your unlimited viewers. Unlimited? Yeah, look at the... So we were up there, we were looking at that fresh snow coming down, and we... It's a pass, and the river's flowing in a different way. The main ice fields, parkway, right there. And that's the Columbia ice fields, almost right there. It's kind of weird how it works out that way sometimes, you know, I, certain trails I don't do for years and all of a sudden, boom, I find myself doing them like two times in a short period. You know, I was just here with, with uh, Maddie and it's, uh, it's, uh, I mean, I am literally at the point where I have to redo trails no matter what. There's not a lot of trails I haven't done, so. Boy, that ranger had some talent. Check out the mad skill to do a bridge like this. 
you know, it's one big tree sliced in half right down the middle yeah. and then flip one end that way. So then it's, you know, it's tapered oh, yeah. and it's square. So Love that's it. the same tree done both. That's gorgeous. Yeah. And big things. Long walk home. Another 20 minutes of this crap. Oh, that one's, that nice. one's not ripe. Uh, right there. There's a they're all over along here. But they're not ripe yet. They're still white. Oh, look at that. Got a big old one. All right, dude. Congrats. Yeah. Good. Fantastic. Here's the dreaded part, trying to get a a ride home. There are those people behind there said they'd take us, but I might just try and hitchhike here for a second. If you're ever in the parks and you see somebody hitchhiking, don't be a dick. Pick them up. They're hikers. What else do you think you're going to see in a park? Psychos? But let me show you generally what's speaking. I mean, it is, it is a sad, sad, sad state of affairs when people just don't stop to pick up hitchhikers in a park. People in this society have become so paranoid. It's amazing how paranoid people have become. I mean, every tourist that's going by here could pick up a guy who could give him a story of a lifetime, but you're too busy going by. And actually, like I've always said, get off the beaten path. But the tourists are so busy going by, ooh, gawking at the mountains that they're forgetting that what's going on. I mean. Anyways, I don't care. That's my rant for the day. Folks who met me on the trail, <laughs> I stayed close to them. Now they're giving me a ride back to the car and they just asked me who I work for and I said Pear Day and somehow or other they know Alfred Sorensen. So why do you guys know Alfred Sorensen? Tell me the story. <laughs> well, I know Alfred because I work for the Bank of Montreal. Yeah. And he was a client of the Bank of Montreal. Until very recently. Right. Yeah. I retired last year. So you tell him, well, he'll know Wayne. Yeah. What do you have to do the last yeah. name? But Wayne uh, from Bank of Montreal is give Wayne, Alfred Wayne from Bank of Montreal is giving me a ride. Exactly. So, yeah. okay. And I'm actually a shareholder of Paraday, so I'm, I'm all in on this Paraday thing. Maybe not everything you own, but everything necessary to live for uh, five days on the trail, right? That's true. Yep. Absolutely. All right. You think you got it all?